In this video, I'm gonna show you three tricks to use on your calendar so you can save time and be more efficient. The first trick is how to display another time zone directly on your calendar. For example, I've got a lot of meeting with the East Coast in the US, so I love to have always on my calendar the time zone in New York so I know what time is it very quickly without having to search online for what time is it in New York. So here on my calendar directly, as you can see, I can know the exact time that it is in New York right now. How did I do that? That's very simple. I clicked on settings and here, as you can see, I can add a secondary time zone in order for me to have it directly displayed on my calendar. I can also add a different label also in order to always see both times. Hey, thank you, Guillaume. <laughs> but that's not it. Like the idea of the calendar is obviously not to be able to see hundreds of different time zones on the side of your calendar. However, what you can do is to show what we call the world clock. Whenever you're running like an international company or having meetings with people abroad, you would like to know their time zone. And for that, the world clock is extremely useful. So let's say, for example, that I'm having meetings between LA, New York, London, or whatever. I would love to know what time is it in each of this time zone. So what I'm gonna do with the world clock is here, add a time zone. So I'm gonna add LA, I'm gonna add another time zone. And by setting this up, I can see directly on my screen, on my calendar, what time is it in each different location. Pretty sweet. So now we're gonna see how to reduce the brightness of past events on your calendar. So you go to settings, you scroll down, and here you just have to click on reduce brightness of past events. And as you can see on my calendar, all events that passed are now on a lighter blue. The reason why I really enjoy it is because it's an easy way for you to only focus on what's happening in the future. Since I use a lot of time boxing on my calendar, meaning that I have specific time frame to do specific tasks, it helps me know what has been done versus what has not been done. Hence, what should I focus on? And here we can see that we are in the recordings time above. That's why you and me can have this little chatter right now. <laughs> and the last trick is when I want to schedule a meeting, for example, with Elena, instead of going back and forth and asking her, when are you available? The thing that I can just do here is by searching for people. And as you can see, by clicking here, I will see where Elena is busy or not. What's your favorite trick with Google Calendar? Let me know in the comments and see you soon.